Meet Brandon, a biomedical engineer at the Department of Veterans Affairs at the University of Pittsburgh. I work at the Human Engineering Research Laboratories and we develop assistive technologies for veterans and people with disabilities, anywhere from prosthetics to robotics, wheelchair technologies, transfer capabilities. My spinal cord injury happened in February of 2005. It was very scary not knowing what my life was going to be. We went to the hospital the night of his injury and I was just frightened. I wasn't sure that he would make it through. I vividly remember being in the conference room with the doctor when he told us the condition of his injury and the potential outcomes. It was devastating. I, I never envisioned that he would get to this point. With my support system, it really helped me get through the tough times, which I devote a lot of that to my success now, having those people around me. So I was very thankful for that. Home medical equipment companies work closely with clinicians, end users, and caregivers to ensure the right equipment is in place providing vital support as part of the care continuum. Together, we help people maintain the quality of life they deserve. We have taken care of generations of families, whether they're pediatric or geriatric patients. These are our neighbors. This is our community. These are the people that we want to continue caring for. We make a difference because we're trying to keep the patients in a the home. There are studies that have shown that by the patient being home, they receive better care. This is keeping them out of institutions, keeping them out of hospitals, from wound care supplies to urological to incontinent supplies. Everything that we're providing to the patient, by keeping them in a the home, they live a much better lifestyle. I have a power wheelchair, I have a hospital bed, alternating pressure air mattress, ventilator, which serves as my zip and puff throughout the day, cough assist, bunch of urological supplies. The list goes on and on pretty much. Home-based care is about more than medical equipment. It's about dignity, support, and enabling people to live life on their own terms. <laughs> <laughs> to me, living at home means I can enjoy my hobby when I want, go out in the community when I want, thankful that I have a job that I can work remotely and contribute to it. Without home-based care, I don't know where he'd be. We've had the luxury of having all the equipment that we've needed, and I think it's kind of the silent partner behind what he's been able to do, whether it's a wheelchair, his more recent need for oxygen and ventilation, assistive cough devices, catheterizations, all of those things that you don't see when you see him every day. Having that support from the supplier definitely makes my life easier, not having to follow up all the time with insurance coverage. To be able to relax and know that they have what they need has allowed me to kind of take a deep breath and know that they'll be fine. Home care matters to me because it allows me to live my life the way I want to live it. For Brandon and the millions like him, home-based care means more than just support. It means possibility. Thanks to home medical equipment and his care team, Brandon is living life on his own terms, contributing to his community and creating a legacy through innovations that will impact future generations. This care is a lifeline providing independence dignity and opportunity. The American Association for Home Care and its members work to ensure access to medical equipment and supplies serving more than 16 million Americans. Learn how you can make a difference today to safeguard access to home-based care and home medical equipment. Visit aahomecare.org 